I don't consider myself a very good basketball scout to scout young players, but I'm really surprised in a positive way uh, about the young Turkish player Sheikh Muz Hazer. Okay. He has a EuroLeague player's body. His athleticism is really surprising. I think he can grow to be an elite defender. He just needs to add some consistency on offense, improve his shooting, maybe improve his ball handling skills. I can see him as a point guard or as a shooting guard. It depends on the coach. Uh, this situation with Decolo's injury, with um, Guduric struggling at the beginning, turned out to be good for Shahmuz Hazer because he got to play minutes. There were games where Fenerbahce had only eight players healthy, mm. and Hazer had to play a lot of minutes. Um, we saw him dunking on Marek Blažević. One of the best dunks of the one season. One of the best dunks of the season. I am impressed. I think he has a lot of potential. The stats... Do not show much, like 4.6 points per game, less than one assist per game, less than a steal per game. But uh, the potential is there, definitely. And it's been a while since we saw interesting young Tur Turkish players, prospects in the EuroLeague. I mean, we know they have their great young centers in the NBA right now. But in the EuroLeague, after Cedi Osman, I, be I believe... Mm -hmm. We didn't see anything interesting. Yeah, and Sheikh Muz Hazer, I'm excited to see how he improves in the future. I think he could turn out to be a very solid player for Fenerbahce. That's the reason why they paid close to one million buyout uh, to Besiktas uh, to to have him on Fenerbahce. And uh, actually, probably there are even more unsung heroes. I would say, even watching, for example, Ishmet Akpenar. I mean, he's giving. 10 honest minutes on the core uh, on the court. I remember very well how he got uh, Tyler Dorsey distracted in the, in the previous games uh, game against Olympiacos. He can get under your skin and he uh, gives a lot of intensity on the defensive end. And if he makes a three pointer, if he makes a good pass, if he makes uh, his open look, I mean that's that's all what you can ask from a guy who's playing 10 minutes per game. Deshaun Pair, he was not a he was never a very impressive uh, guy on box courts, but he was always is giving extra offensive rebound, extra good pass, extra smart decision, and uh, extra um, open three-pointer uh, when the opportunity comes. So there, there's way more in this Fenerbahce team. There are way more uh, heroes when just the call or Vesely or even Perilla Henry. So that's a team to watch this year for sure. However, there is a player that I'm disappointed with uh, from the Fenerbahce roster. Uh, okay. Another one of these young prospects, Tariq Biberovic. Mm. He was labeled like the next Bogdan Bogdanovic. His shooting mechanics kind of reminds me of Bogdan Bogdanovic. And we are just waiting and waiting for him to have the breakthrough season. We're waiting when he, until he shows his full potential. Now, under the circumstances, you can get a lot of minutes to play mm. in the EuroLeague, in the Turkish League as well. I just don't see a lot of improvement in his game. Uh he was really labeled the next big thing. Mm -hmm. Like, Jelko Bradovic even said that Tariq it was so is, many is years be ago special. that I, I it was so many years ago that uh, when I was doing this let's say little research on uh, uh, young Euroleague players, rising stars, and uh, how they are doing this this season, I was surprised to see Biberovic on that list of players age twenty one and under, because for me it's, it seems like he's already twenty five because he's been in the Euroleague yeah. for for so long. He's only twenty one years yeah, old. Yeah, uh, he's still course, young. He's still very young. He only played seven games this season. Uh, I don't know, I'm not informed, maybe he had some injuries. I'm not sure about that. Maybe the Turkish fans in the comment section will correct me if I'm wrong. But he only played seven games. He only made one three-pointer from eight attempts, 35% two-point shooting. He's supposed to be a scorer with his skills. He kind of reminds me of Tada Sedekerskis. If, if you remember, uh, Sedekerskis was also scoring a lot when he was playing for youth teams, uh, for, for teams in Lithuania, and Bebrovic also, he has a good body, he, he's a big guy, he can do a lot of different things, but in some situations Sedekerskis was lacking of confidence, even sometimes now he's lacking of confidence, uh, shooting the ball, um, you know, making decisions, uh, making some ball decisions on the offensive end, so maybe that's uh, what, what is right now with Bebrovic. Maybe he's... I don't know. I'm not sure.